How are you, mate? I'm good, Alex, thank you. New season. Are you hopeful? Well, without a doubt, yeah. I think that, um, you know, that last year when we, we started the season, you know, we, we looked at the squad and, and everybody thought that there was that air of expectation. Um, you know, if you could feel it within the crowd and everything, going on the boxes and that. Uh, this year, you know, it's a different it's a different feeling because, because we went to Wembley and we won and we've got that monkey off us back now. Can we get to the grand final? And, this, and, and it'd be interesting to see how the team cope with that expectation from the supporters and everybody else, um, which is an added pressure to them. You mentioned recruitment there. Rad has, has recruited really well, I agree. Albert Kelly, for me, is one of the, the key signings for any club. He, he's, a, he's a great missing ingredient in that standoff position. He certainly is, yeah. And he's, you know, the biggest thing is he carries the ball to the line. You know, he's a good support player. Um, he's got dynamic speed. And, you know, talking to a few of the lads, defensively, very, very solid, you know, really strong in the contact. So, I think, you know, he's, he's going he's gonna to blend well with, with Mark Sneed, I think, and who's just signed a new two-year deal. Um, so, you know, everything's looking really well for the club at the moment. Mate, it's certainly exciting times. And one thing I wanted to mention, I want you to give me a bit of an insight into the, the mindset of the Hull fans, because season tickets are up, memberships up 33%. Junior membership up 65%. It's the only club to have such a big growth in Super League. Is is this club everything to the people of Hull? Well, it, you know, rugby league is a massive part of, of the community in this in this city, and um, you know, everybody said if you get a successful team, then people will come and watch you, and that's exactly what's happened. You know, people came last year, and they've and you know they've. They've seen that we've they've created some success and they've jumped on the back of that. And, you know, everybody wants to see a successful whole side. Um, you know, to be fair, everybody wants to see a successful football team and two rugby league teams. But unfortunately, Rovers went down last year. City is struggling in the, in the Premiership at the moment. And, and Hull come good last year. And I think that people have bought into that. And, you know, the black and whites, they're a fantastic group of supporters and I think that they've been waiting for for success for such a long time that you know I think that hopefully this year the players can respond to the to the support that's been given to them and, and try and get and make sure that they get uh, give the crowd what they're expecting. Mate, tell me a little bit about uh, off the field as well because last year people were calling for Lee Radford Z. If they'd have lost that game at Ulkia, the pressure might have been too much. He stuck it out, they won that game by the skin of his teeth, and it just got better and better and better. That says a lot about Adam Pearson. He's stuck with Radders. He's given him a few years to get his get his group together. And also I wanted to mention James Clark because this is a lad who started a few years ago on nine grand as a marketing assistant. He's now the CEO. Tell us a bit about Adam Pearson and James Clark as people. Well, to be fair, you know, Radders, you know, Radders was appointed when he lacked experience. And the only way you gain experience is by doing the job. And I think that Adam's, you know, Adam stuck by him. Adam, Adam got Radders in because he knew that he was the right person for the job. And he stuck by him. And, and you know, there's not many chairmen would have done that. So, you know, I think that, you know, Radders has come through and he's, and he's been successful and he's repaid Adam for that faith that he had in him. Clarkie, you know, it's, it's, it's a great story. Clarkie's, like you said, come through the ranks. He's a great bloke. He does his job exceptionally well. And, um, you know, I think that that's what the club's all about. The club's about progression. It's about giving people opportunities. And, you know, if, even for, me, for myself, you know. Um, You're I'm, involved all the time, I'm, aren't I'm you? Involved, I'm involved at the club because somebody said to Adam about five, four years ago, um, why don't you get Lee working back at the club? And, and, he turned, and he heard him and he turned around and he made an appointment and everything went from there. So Do you love it? It's fantastic. It's great to be back at the club. You know, everybody knows how much this club means to me. And, um, you know, I just, I, I love being back here. I love being part of uh, the backroom staff in regards to what's happening. I love coming and watching the game. And, and what happened last year was just an exceptional... Did you shed a tear? I did. You know, I did. And, and because I was so pleased and proud for everybody at the club yeah. that had been worked so hard to, to achieve what they achieved. Whether it's power station, factory or stadium, covering installation or maintenance, SPEC, the specialist power contractor to industry. 